Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic Administration. In previous session we have seen how to deploy web application and EAR application that is Enterprise Archive application in WebLogic. In today's session we are going to see more details about this deployment. So let's start. So we have already started WebLogic server. Let's go ahead and see what is the current status about the managed server. If the managed servers are not up, right now you can see the build not restartable or not reachable. If if, you, if the if the servers are not started, particularly managed server, then the application which are deployed on those managed server will have the state as a new. So let's go ahead and start these servers. In order to start, you have to go to the control section, select the server which you want to start and click on the start button. It will take a while to start this server. So until the server gets started, we'll see more details about these deployments. As we know, we are going to learn the deployments. Deployment process overview. Deployment Deploying an application involves the following task. The first step is preparing. Choosing whether to package application as an archive or keep it as an exploded directory. So we have the option we can deploy the application as a uh, deploy the ER or WAR as an application or deploy the ER or WAR as a library. Particularly, we use the jar file as a library. The next thing comes is configuring. Once we are done with the basic deployment, then we have to configure various important factors such as what, how much memory, memory it will take, what are the log, log file location, etc. So configuring, uh, creating a deployment plan to maintain configuration changes without changing the DD. DD is nothing but the deployment director. That is, each application has web.xml is deployment director or directory for the web application similarly for enterprise application we have ejb dot hyphen ejb hyphen xml then the actual process of deploying targeting and distributing the application to weblogic servers in a domain as we know within one domain there may be multiple servers present so deploying one application on multiple managed servers or multiple servers will be the next part. So choosing the target is another important factor during the deployment. Deployment methods. WebLogic supports three deployment methods. First is auto deployment. For that you need to keep the deployment ER like for example war file or ER file in the deployment directory at the WebLogic root level then using the console deployment so you can use the weblogic console which we saw in the last session how to use that and the third is command line deployment so you can use the commands to deploy the application you can deploy application in following format first is enterprise archive that is ar or in exploded directory format or war file you can deploy enterprise application, web applications, web services, J2E libraries, JDBC, JMS and diagnostic framework modules, resources, resource adapters. So these are the few examples we can deploy in the WebLogic server. Auto deployment is nothing but the copying files. If production mode is off you can install an application by copying it manually or using the console to domain applications folder the administrator server monitors the applications folder for new change or remote application this configures targets and deploys the application to the administrator server only so if you are going to use only administrator for the deployment then use the deployment directory and keep the ER or Y file which will be automatically deployed or you can use the console the weblogic console we know it looks like this so which can be used to deploy so in order to use this 
you can go to the deployment section and click on the install button and it will help uh, it will guide us to the various steps so that is the console mode deployment versus production development versus production modes and administration server starts either using development mode or production mode development mode which turns auto deployment on production mode which turn off auto deployment off so either manually they have to do in the production or they have to use the command line tool either they use the console mode for the deployment or command line mode the auto deployment mode will not be enabled the reason is in the production we normally don't use the admin server we use the managed server and it is cluster format the administration server starts in the mode selected at the domain creation time the mode is set for all weblogic servers in a given domain production mode flags when the production mode is disabled application can be dynamically deployed application polar will be enabled in development mode this option d weblogic dot production mode enable equal true is deprecated in weblogic 10 so that is the reason you will not see but you can see the administration port and the on the domain level so let's see the administration port so you have to go to the domain here wls underscore domain name and you can see the administration port so this is the administration port you can disable the production you can enable the production mode once the once you enable the production mode you will not able to do the auto deployment so if you disable this production mode then just you have to copy the er and war file they and the admins if, if it is you are going to deploy in the admin server it will automatically deploy if you want to enable the administration port you can enable it so all the calls will go through the administration port console deployment method deploying with deployment deploying with the console allows full administrator control installation from a location you select so you can choose either server location or your local file location manual configuration of the application name targeting the application to specific servers or clusters configuring the application without targeting it activating deployment when desired so these are the things we will be having control console mode so you have to just if it is production mode you have to make sure you're using the log you have to acquire the log then go to the domain structure and select the deployment select the install and choose the application you want to install that we already sent then we have to select whether it's a deployment as an application or library and then we have to select the target which manage server or the admin server you want to use then you have to select the app name if you want to change and some basic configuration details and it will show us the application deployed if you want to test then you have to go to the testing tab and this application will be available for the testing command line deployment the web logic dot deploy utility lets us perform deployment operation similar to those available in console the deployment uh, web logic dot deploy action can be scripted with the and task wl deploy so there are some manual steps need to be configured before doing the actual deployment so it's kind of and build and deploy so their commands will be very uh, straightforward you can see to deploy a new application you have to click uh, you have to give the command java uh, weblogic dot deployer hyphen admin url the where the server name name app and the source name of the file target server what are the server you want to use and then deploy for the redeploy you have to just use the redeploy command if part of the deployment then you have to uh, use this command admin url target server redeploy and this just one file will be deployed in order to undeploy you have to use undeploy command it's very simple very straightforward deploying the application with weblogic tool provides a number of deployment commands we can use this command to deploy undeploy redeploy applications and standalone modules to weblogic instance it update an existing deployment plan 
start and stop a deployment application so those are the controls will be available also so these are the most of the details about the deployment so let's see in the tool so if you remember we have deployed two applications so one of the application is active and second is still in prepared mode so that's fine it's totally fine it is it sometimes the application takes us some time to get it deployed it is normal behavior it depends on the how much uh, uh, percentage or the how much code you have written in your application so if you expand the eap project or the war project you have to you can see the multiple project in eap project you will have the ejb as well as the web component in the web component if you go to the testing you will see some a testing urls let's see if i can capture so here is available just click on if it works then that means it is currently deployed current it is not pointing correctly it should point to the local host it is pointing 10 10 10 so we have to make some configuration changes for example instead of 10 how to make it uh, local host so there will be a configuration at the server level for example if you go to the server and select particular server where you have installed actually we have installed on the managed manage to so here are the some properties listing address is empty so if you have to give this correct address and save it you can give what are the address your application server is going to listen so it says all changes has been activated however one atom must be restarted for the changes to take effect so those kind of information will be available whenever you start or stop so let's go back to the deployment so in this deployment you can see the multiple urls will be available uh, particularly if you have the web application you can just select it and you can see the multiple urls available now the next thing is regarding the target suppose i have just selected one managed server during the installation of the application later if you think you want to choose the other application server also then suppose you can select directly this one or you can select all servers or what are the option you want to choose so let me select like this and full and just save it so by this way you will be able to see the multiple servers where you can see so you can go to the deployment section i will show you that quickly once it is saved so if you see it so these are the configuration are available at project level how can, how do i know it's a project level you can see at the top here is a dyna web project so it's nothing but the the name of project and for that project we have the overview deployment plan configuration security target control testing monitoring and notes so let's go back and see the deployments so particularly this dyna web project deployment had the targets server one manage server one and manage two and both the app uh, it's working fine it is active now so so this these are the basic things about the projects how to deploy in upcoming session we will explore more options about this deployment or deployed project i hope this tutorial is going to help you to deploy the application and have some basic understanding about the deployment i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial tutorial then do not forget to subscribe my channel also if you like then definitely go ahead and comment if you have any queries i'll be more than happy to assist you in your weblogic administration thank you again and have a nice time